What's going on guys? My name is Laura. Welcome back to Laura Have a Gaming. Um, so I've been, uh, it's been like a week or so since I've, so, sorry about that. So I've been about a week or so since I posted anything. I apologize. I've had a crazy busy week with my design. I've had a crazy week doing work, uh, doing some work for, uh, for the town. So that's actually really cool, which I will probably do a vlog about it in a little while. But, uh, for now, I just wanted to get something quick and out to you because I've, I'm sorry, I've been feeling bad that I haven't done anything and I've really wanted to do something, but I just haven't had the energy. I've been working constantly and, and had to drive six hours yesterday to do a doctor's appointment. And oh, it was, uh, it's been crazy. Um, so I'm going to do it. Just a quick video and then I'll get back to the uh, regular let's plays in a, um, as soon as I can. This here is is uh, is my fiance's cockatiel. His name is Kakashi. We call him Kash or Kashi. Say hi. You want, you, he doesn't want to sit with me right now. He was sitting on my shoulder and then he fluttered up onto my chair. So he's just going to hang out there. Right, Kash? Are you just going to hang out on the back of the chair? You don't want to come join us? You don't want to come join us? Down you come. See? <laughs> Oop. <laughs> Not quite right here. Hey, buddy. You don't want to go on my shoulder? You want to go back up there? Okay. He's just going to hang out back up there. Okay, so we're going to play Will You Press the Button because I had a lot of fun playing uh, Would You Rather, or I think it was Would You Rather, either whatever you want to call that one. So, Kosh and I, or mostly me, he's just going to pout in the back there. First question, you become an immortal demon and rule over the known universe, but only weapon that can kill you is in the hands of a guy who's pissed at you for that so I'm assuming what he means or what this means is he's pissed at me for being an immortal demon who rules the universe so he's gonna come after me but that doesn't guarantee that the guy is gonna kill me so like I mean sure why not do it cuz he's gonna even if he even if he does try to kill me it's not gonna really do anything like even if he does try like yeah I, I mean I'm an immortal demon and blah 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 and he might be super pissed and he wants to kill me but like at the same time I'm immortal and I rule the universe and uh it wouldn't really be that hard for me to t detain this guy and let him rot in a jail cell for until he dies and then I'm fine I'll take his weapon there's the blue pill and but there's also the red pill Wait, what? Get transported to the world of Pokemon, but to get there you have to pull out four of your own teeth. Why does the portal into the world of Pokemon require human teeth? Um, I don't know. I mean, I like Pokemon, but do I really want to live in the world of Pokemon where you just run around and everyone always wants to fight you and they're throwing their Pokemon at your face and you're just like, oh my god, what the fuck are you doing? It's neat, but the world of Pokemon doesn't have all of the stuff that I like about this world. It doesn't have the same music, it doesn't have it doesn't have the literature, it doesn't have the the TV. What would I do without Breaking Bad and Game of Thrones? I don't think I would. If I could have Pokemon in this life, I would, but I don't want to go into the world of Pokemon. That's not something I really want to do. You become immortal and live happily on Earth for millions of years. When the but when the world is destroyed, you will float through space for an eternity of loneliness. This is presupposing you don't somehow magically come across another planet with life, or I mean, hell, if you're immortal and you are drifting through space forever, you could create your own life, like or get found by friendly aliens uh but i don't really want to be immortal and live on earth for millions of years because like well first of all i'd watch everyone that i know and love die over and over and over again and i'd see probably horrible wars and all this crap and like i'd I don't think I, I don't want to be immortal. I don't want to live forever. I am not one of those people. I do not want to live forever. You never have trouble using the restroom, but you can never eat your one favorite meal again. Okay, what does this mean? You never have trouble using the restroom. Like what? This could mean so many different things. Do you just mean like you you have a pr you have issues with with peeing or something, or does it mean like um. Well, I mean, pretty big issue in the States right now, the, the trans bathroom issue. I mean, if I could always go to the bathroom and never have to worry about anybody screwing me over ever again, that actually sounds pretty goddamn great. That sounds pretty great. I could go anywhere in the world, nobody would ever trouble me in the bathroom. That would be awesome. Oh, but I'd never be able to eat my one favorite meal again. I never get to eat my one favorite meal now. I can live with different food. If that's what it means, but trouble using the restroom makes it sound like it's some sort of childish... Like, you have, you pee yourself or something, or wet the bed. What do you think, Kosh? You don't have trouble using the restroom, do you? You probably already pooped on my chair. Have you pooped on my chair? Have you done a poop on my chair already? He's still grumpy at me because I was gone all day. Okay, taken solely, strictly for the 
from the, uh, the meaning of the whole trans uh, trans bathroom bill issue that keeps popping up everywhere, I would say, sure? I don't even know what my one favorite food would be. I have so many different foods that I like. I, could, I don't know if I can nail down one. Probably pizza. That would suck. A world without pizza. But a world with where I could go to the bathroom and not be discriminated against? That's worth pizza. So by that standpoint, of course, if this means you have trouble like peeing your pants, then obviously that doesn't apply. But when we're talking about, you know, trans rights and and people getting threat like threatened and physically harmed or or like threatened with guns for going into the bathroom, that's fucking ridiculous. So that I would give up pizza to avoid. You will have super fast internet that never fails, but all downloading sites will be blocked. Okay, so um I think what they're they're trying to say is that you have the best internet ever, but you can't download shit like anything. I'm guessing you can't download music, you can't download movies, you can't download uh, games or mods or um, software. That would suck. I already have decent internet. Like I don't need the super fast. This is what this is what the the first world problems have come to. Oh my internet isn't the fastest ever made. God, I can't live with myself. Fuck you. Learn to live with your internet speed. Be thankful you have internet. I am. I'm still amazed at what the internet is. My internet is pretty decently damn fast. Do I need it? Could it be faster? Yes. Do I want it to be faster? Sometimes. Do I need it to be faster? No. I'm fine with it as it is. We all are. You will have unlimited stamina, but you can only run everywhere. Hey, um, I mean, what? Sure. Why not? I'll lose weight really fast. Go for it. You will receive unlimited wishes, but you can only use them for the good of others and not for yourself. Sure, I'd do this. There's lots of people that I'd love to help with wishes. I'm already in a decently good place, but I can. there's a lot of people that I could help. People all over the world, people in my family, people, all these people that I could help that I would like to help, but I can't right now. So yeah, I'd totally do this. You can do an impression of any celebrity, but you multiply your risk of throat cancer by 1.05 every time you do one. Why? What is your celebrity impersonation gonna do for you? You can do an, is that just so you can impress people at parties? What is this fascination with being able to sound like a famous person? Who cares? Especially not if you get multiply your risk of throat cancer by 1.05 times every time you do that. No. I'm not gonna do that. I don't want to impersonate other people. I, I'm fine with being just me. Are you scared of my microphone? Are you scared of my microphone, buddy? Hey, the original Guns N' Roses lineup gets back together and go on a year-long world tour which you to which you have all access. But you have to do laundry, blah, blah, blah. I don't like Guns N' Roses. I don't really care. No. You become president for one week and change anything you like, but your high school bully becomes a president uh, the week afterward and you can't kill him or prevent it. I don't want to be the president. I mean, there's a lot of things that need to change. I wouldn't be good at that job. I don't want to be the president. No, I don't want to be the president. Besides, my high school bully would screw the country entirely. Uh, you get to be a character in any fictional universe, but you can never come back. I don't see a downside to this. This sounds awesome. I'd be like the, the dragonborn in Skyrim, like fucking hands down. Yeah, I'd totally do that. Never come back? Why would I want to come back to this world? You can have the partner of your dreams, but his are blah 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 blah. I already have the partner of my dreams. Fuck off. Your body will be in good shape no matter what, your voice will be super high pitched. I would be okay with that because currently my voice is super bassy and low. So I'd be okay with higher pitched voice. Why not? Unless you mean like super like chipmunk high pitched. In which case I'd just sound like that that girl, what was her name? Sugar? From MT or from, from uh, YTV was that Sugar? I don't remember. God, that was years ago. Jeez, that was when I was like ten years old or younger. But she was on YTV. She was the one of the hosts for YTV, and she was like super high pitched voice. It was weird. Everyone thought she she you know inhaled helium before every show, but I think that was just her natural voice. I don't know. If you guys know, let me know. But um, I mean, sure, why not? I'd, I'd go for a higher voice. You can get correct tickets, uh, concert, sorry, you can get concert tickets to anything you want, but you have to sit in the crappiest farthest seat away from the stage. I actually don't like concerts. I've been to a few uh, for some of my favorite bands, and yeah, I mean, the show was awesome, the bands were great, but I don't like the experience. I'm not one of those people that likes to go to all these concerts. First of all, they cost a lot of money, and second of all, I, I have problems with crowds and people, you know, with my anxiety, and I don't like 
being around lots of people. It's kind of like the reason I don't like to go to malls anymore. And I, I don't, I only go to a mall if I really have to. Um, and even then I usually only go to a mall if I can go with somebody. It's the same with a concert. Like I don't like to be in those giant crowds of people when I could just either buy a concert DVD or just listen to the music on my computer. Like, yeah, it's a great experience going to a concert, like, and seeing the music live. Most bands are so much better live, but I don't like being at concerts. I don't like being around all those people. It's it's hard for me. I'd rather go to a bar show for some small band and, and support some small indie, indie artist than go spend hundreds of dollars to go see someone in a stadium. Okay, you can live anywhere in the world you want, but muffled rap music is always playing in the distance. So you mean, like, basically anywhere it is, right, anywhere at all right now? Everyone, someone somewhere is always listening to some crappy gangster rap. I mean, but if I get to live anywhere in the world I want, I can always, it's muffled rap playing in the distance and I can always cover it up with something else. Sure, why not? I could live anywhere in the world. That would be awesome. Know everything in the universe and have no one to share it with. I don't think I'd want to. Knowledge for knowledge's sake? Then there's nothing left to learn. There's nothing left to figure out. I don't want to know everything. I want to learn everything. No. Ah, oh, shit. I pressed yes. I meant no. I meant no. Damn it. Now I know everything and uh, now there's nothing left to learn. This is the end, I guess. You get your dream house and any furniture, electronics, or decorations you want are already inside the house. But you have to share bedrooms with your worst enemy. So I will leave this one open for you guys to answer. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. You get your dream house and then any furniture, electronics, or decorations that you could possibly want inside that house. But you have to share your bedroom. Bed. Yeah, well, bedroom. You have to share your bed. At least it's not your bed. You have to share your bedroom with your worst enemy. Could you do it? I don't know if I could. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching and for being so patient with me while I, I get my life figured out and doing work and everything. I'm trying to keep regular recordings on schedule but it's been kind of tough with work and also I discovered Fallout 4 and uh, it's uh, been kind of dragging me in so I'm hoping that I can get a game capture card from my TV so I could actually let's play that one because I would love to do that so anyway yeah so thank you all so much for watching if you like this video leave it a like uh, let me know what your answer to that question would be down in the comments and uh, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss a future episode of Laura Have a Gaming Kosh is desperate for you to subscribe he really, if you want to see more of this guy I'll probably have him out more often when videos that's my ear you're screeching in buddy so thank you all so much for watching i appreciate all you guys' support catch me in the next video how about that and i will see you all next time bye guys